It's said that if your car falls into the water, you can only escape by opening the door after the vehicle is completely submerged. Previous tests have already shown that before the car is fully underwater, the outside water pressure makes the door almost impossible to open. So the real question is, when exactly can you open the door? First, they tried opening it when the water was just covering Adam's shoes. At that point, the pressure was still low and the door opened easily. But when the water reached his knees, things changed. Adam tried pushing the door with his hands, but it wouldn't budge. He had to throw his entire body weight against it, using every bit of strength just to crack it open. The results proved one thing clearly. The best chance to escape is before the water rises above your knees. Once it does, your odds of survival drop dramatically. To make the test even more accurate, they let the water rise until it completely covered the windows. Even though Adam could still breathe at that moment, the external water pressure was overwhelming and the door wouldn't open no matter what he tried. Some people then asked, why not just open the window and climb out? To test that, they removed the car door and placed 350 pounds of weight on the window, simulating the pressure at a depth of about two feet underwater, but neither the power window nor the manual crank could lift the glass. Next, they tried breaking the window using common items found in a car. The car key didn't work. A cell phone didn't work. Even kicking the glass with steel toe boots failed. Finally, they tried a window breaker hammer and a spring-loaded punch, tools specifically designed for emergency escape. Both of them shattered the glass effortlessly. So if you own a car, it's a really good idea to keep two of these tools on board, just in case.